Ooh, it's a decent one. Ooh, too. rod bender anyway. <laughs> What is not to like? Well, I'll tell you what, one of the most overlooked and greatest sport fish for winter fishing and, you know. Absolutely. Eating. <laughs> oh, they're wonderful on the table. Wow, beautiful fish. And that is handy with the spoon. You just grab the spoon to get them out of there. Yeah. You know, what we thought we'd talk about today, and we've done this, actually done some of this before, in fact, I think it was one of the more popular programs last year. We talked about uh, spoon tricks and tips, and although we're going to be fishing for whitefish, it really doesn't make any difference w which species you're after. The tips are going to apply, you know, in a little bit different sense. There's some modification involved, but I tend to think of spoons, first of all, in two categories. You have the action spoons, the high action spoons, and then you have the straighter spoons, and then, of course, you can subdivide those categories. And what you're using is a good example of the, uh, this is a buckshot, <clears throat> that's a buckshot rattle. You jig it up and it, it's not real erratic. I mean, it gives off a lot of flash and vibration, but it's a, it's a pretty straight action type of spoon. And so these, you know, a lot of the Northland spoons, great modifications. There we go. You got another one? Biggest, maybe. Wow, Gordon, that's long. giant. How big, how, how many pounds is that? You know, Eight? that's got to be six, eh? No, I'm, I'm guessing seven. Six or seven, at least. Wow, giant Good. fish, beautiful. Wow. In meanwhile, back here. Ooh, another, this is a big fish too, Gordon. Oh, I lost them, here we go. I've oh, got to get him out of the hole. <laughs> Woo. They're big, average size fish. Man, oh man, look at that. And, as you may or may not know, whitefish are one of the best eating fish of all, so we're gonna save a few. I'm gonna save that one. But come in here close and I'll show you what I would term as a high action category spoon. And this is uh, from Custom Jigs and Spins. It's a slender spoon and it is built in two different ways. They have one that's a little thicker, which is the one I'm using now because we're, uh, you know, we have to fish for whitefish oftentimes from 40 down to 60 feet. So you want to get down fast with this little spoon and you can do that with this spoon. But they also make one that is very flat, but it's made in the same shape. And basically what happens here is you can rip it up and it just wobbles intensely on the way up. And then as soon as you do the fall, it lays on its side for the most part, shoots off to the side and, and flutters back like this. So it's a high action, quite erratic type of uh, a spoon. If I had to say myself, the, the spoon category that is most overlooked and most anglers probably, most ice fishermen probably don't have in their boxes are these high action spoons. Same spoon on? Yes it is, buckshot rattle spoon. Okay. Yeah, out we come here. There. Bent your hook, but I think that's releasable. Yeah, I do too. Oh yeah. Beautiful. Now what I wanted to, you know, and you were really the one that did this last year. You introduced this little fast hatch clip to the world, sort of. <laughs> yeah, I mean, you didn't invent it. It's not yours. It's not ours or anything like that. But nobody had ever heard of it before. No, it is a and, trick I've been doing for a long, long time. So, and what it basically does is it, well, you go ahead. Well, it, you know, it does, it, it, well, it does many things, actually. Number one, it separates it from the spoon. Right. Um, number two, when we tip, if you're tipping with the minnow heads or soft plastics, whatever, it's literally just a turn and the hook comes off. Right, and you were using this little thing. Yeah, just a, a piece of scented soft plastic. And, uh, you know, you can put it through and, and then put it on the bait. Um, but the more important thing is once it's on here, is when, especially when the fish are really inactive, they'll come up and they'll look at your bait and, and they don't <coughs> rush right in. In fact, they don't even hit it. What they do is they flare their gills and the hook actually slides You've got a, a better pivot point. Abs and, and you're not going to move. You don't have to move the spoon. Yeah, exactly, right. you move just this little bait. And there's several other ways that you can actually do that. And one is, is you can add split rings, additional split rings there, if you don't have fast hatch clips. And then the other thing that I've done is that I've gone to a 
single hook instead of the treble. Yeah. And a lot of the singles allow you to have more distance anyway. These fast attached attached clips are just so slick. Yes, you know.